I don't know about that. See, I'm letting you know that I see interest in you, but I'm not going to make it so that way like I'm being hot and cold with her. One day I was sending long, well-written messages, replying quickly, and then the next day I was being short, distant, you know, trying to keep her on her toes. This is fucking disgusting. Like, she'd send me a message, right? And I'd want to reply, but then I'd intentionally wait for like 30 minutes to an hour just because I was trying, trying to, to send, send mixed signals. signals. Like, what the fuck? H here's how I typically treat it. If a girl texts me and I'm still interested in her, I'll just reply. I don't try to be anything. I don't try to be cool. Facts. I don't try to be funny. I just reply regular, not thinking too hard about what I'm saying. I don't run game. That's just not me. And the only I run the game, nigga. I'm see, I'm a chess player when it comes to this shit, nigga. I'd be like, all right, I'm moving my key shit there. Take that there. I'm 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 precise. I'm tactical. The only reason Everything I would ever I do has not purpose. reply quickly is because I'm busy or I don't see the notification. Simple. That's me. Waiting to respond? No, I never wait to respond. You text me, I'll text you back if I see Worked very well. But instead of that, I was trying this fucking bull and looking back, it makes me cringe so hard. This next chapter basically tells you to mirror the girl, which boils down to saying, Be a bitch. Be agreeable, like what she likes, think how she thinks, claiming that if she can see herself in you, then she like you more. And there is some truth to this, like the girls that I've had my best experiences with are the girls that I've been on the same page with on most things, like working out, learning about personal development, having an unhealthy level of interest in memes, you know, the things that really matter. But on the other hand, the fuck I look like pretending to sound. like or agree with something just for the sake of you liking me. What? If I don't like mm. something, I'm gonna tell you. Like, like if you like listening to country music in your car, I'm not playing fucking country music when you get in my car. We're gonna listen to Gunna, Lil Baby, 6 9 Too Soon, X, Nav, and Drake. And if you don't like... This nigga mentioned Nav? And six nine. Bruce vid with you? Bruce has a video with me? Kid, you better catch an Uber to where we're going because I'm not cutting on no god Blake Shelton. I didn't even know who that was before this video. I had to look up popular country artists on Spotify because I don't listen to tractor music. Like, I've never been inside of a barn, okay? So, in Morocco, right? They speak French. So I started, <laughs> I started teaching myself French. Mm, just cut it off, man. Just cut my dick off, man. Obviously, I don't need it. Because that, that was a bitch move. Look, if you don't like me out of the box, then put it back on the shelf. I'm not gonna be someone else just to impress you. Except in this instance, cringe as book. Now, the last thing that I did, the, the icing on this cringe flavored cake was inspired by the third to last chapter of this 468 page book. Use physical page. lore. I'll read you a section straight from the book. Throughout the seductive process, you have been feeling the target's mind, let those momentos shared experiences you keep constantly present, even when you are not there. Now, as you shift to the physical part of the seduction, you must What's see up, the target more often. In other words, by her be romantic, but in that 1700s kind of way. You know, send letters, get her gifts, things that constantly remind her of your presence. <sighs> this, this is the part that makes me want to shoot myself in the head. Like, <laughs> I can't, I can't believe I'm actually about to tell you this. It is so fucking, oh my God. So, this is what I did. I sent her roses. From Jamaica. I was in Jamaica and I called the local flower shop back here in Texas. And then I had them deliver five dozen roses to her apartment. One dozen says, hey, I really like you. Five dozen says, I make way too much money for making cartoons on the internet. And also, 
I might be a serial killer. And she liked him. She 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 liked him. She she posted the fucking picture on Twitter and tagged me in it. So at the time, she she was feeling it, but what? I had previously had a girlfriend for like four years, and I think I bought her roses once. I hadn't even met this girl in person yet. I mean, we did FaceTime for hours almost every night the entire time I was in Jamaica but five? I'm, I'm pretty sure that warrants a state-funded execution. But I was lost, man. I was lost. I, I really thought I was killing this part of seduction. What's my worst experience when it comes to spending money on a female? Hmm. I don't know. Part. When I got back to Texas and we actually met up, it wasn't good for so many reasons, but they all boiled down to saying that I had done way, way too much. Like, it put so much pressure on me. It made me care too much about the outcome. So I wasn't relaxed when we met in person and it made the first date go really bad. So she lost interest shortly after. And, you know, although I'm glad it happened because it taught me <laughs> taught me some valuable lessons. I'm 99.99% sure that if I had just been done, like how I am with every other girl, I probably would have gotten that Moroccan gym badge. <laughs> gym badge. And by gym badge, obviously, I mean we would have cultivated a respectful and consensual relationship. I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about getting in her pants, but that would have happened too, most likely. There is so much to dissect here. Like, I I did a lot wrong. But if I had to give you only one thing to take away, it's just be yourself. Focus on becoming the best version of yourself and then be unapologetically that. If someone falls for you while you're... W.